All right. Uh, my name is Joseph Hill Jedrzejewski. Uh, Olga Ivanchenko. I'm Stephen Williams, <laughs> and we did our uh, project on the Old Grind. It is located on Main Street, next to the Bank of America, and uh, it is a really nice little coffee place. And we uh, decided to put together a little bit of a, you know, a plan for them. We visited the place. It's it's it's, uh, it's really cool. We had an interview with the owner. Her name is Janice, but she also goes by Skippy. Yeah, and she's a really nice lady. She told us all about her uh, her business. So we're gonna yeah. tell you a little bit about it. So first of all, we decided to like see the place, to analyze it. So what we have, it uh, was a small, comfortable coffee shop with delicious coffee and desserts. Uh, there is free Wi-Fi spot. Um, they also have like Facebook page, which is really good in our modern world. They have coffee cups, like buy 10 cups of coffee and get one free. Uh, they have like special uh, t-shirts, cups with logo of the old brand. It's yeah. uh, Grandma Weezy. It's like uh, Grandma Weezy is like their mascot, and then mm -hmm. she's like the statue that's up in the up in the front window, and uh, she overlooks the streets, welcoming people in to have some of their delicious coffee. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we also found out that the working hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Monday. To Saturday and on Sunday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, uh, you want to take this one? Sure. Um, we did uh, the demographics on from McPherson, Salina, and also Lensburg, and we wanted to focus in on our group of people for us from 18 to about 35 uh, in the audience that we would um, that would really relate to us and see how. Uh, they could, could connect to us and draw us in to get more coffee. And um, along with the audience, we um, how can we get more business or advertise them um, to get more consumers to their business? And we thought that um, they could take, say for instance, I could bring Olga and Joe, and for bringing Olga and Joe, I can receive a free cup of coffee. Um, and that can be a way of incentive to bring more customers and uh, it's like a trickle trickle down effect to where another person brings more people and you bring a certain amount of people uh, and then eventually you begin to build your consumers uh, and your customers so um, one thing that we thought of was um, getting more of an audience during the festival times staying open uh, because everybody likes to close because they want to help but if you can stay open while people are walking the streets when it's most busy is during the festivals, of course you can get more business. Um, coffee groups, um, I see it says 7 a.m. to 8.30. Um, for our age group, we talked about uh, as a group um, on Sunday nights from at least 7 a.m., 7 p.m. to about 10.30 p.m. where you can at least draw another study group um, for our age group when we study at night. That's when we get the most homework done. Um, junior high and college students as well. Yeah, they ho they host uh, every morning. They have two coffee groups. One is at seven a.m. and one is at eight thirty a.m. Um, uh, the first time we went in for an interview, actually, we came in during the end of one, and usually they range about like six to eight people per uh, per group, and they show up pretty much every day. And it's, that's one way they try to reach out to the community. We also found out the average uh, people are 35 to 60 people per day. So um, uh, advertising used before, they used like Facebook page, with, which is not really developed. They uh, used to place uh, uh, their commercials on newspapers, but uh, we found out that it wasn't effective at all because like college students, they do not read newspapers. So, And uh, the most effective one is just the word of mouth when people share their opinion about the place. They have really good coffee, so it helps. Um, uh, yeah, having to do with that uh, newspaper, they said that they used they gave a coupon to the school to put in the messenger once, but they they didn't really have anybody come use them because nobody reads the messenger anymore. Usually, uh, we've directed ourselves to more online things like the, the Bethany Insight. So maybe if we would uh, maybe send a coupon to that or something, more people would look at that and uh, maybe take that in because we're moving towards a more online. Um, yeah, yeah, so like even if they did that to the Facebook page too. Um, uh, as far as the menu goes, it's very diverse. They have a lot of things on the menu. They have they range from hot chocolate, co and cocoa, and they have desserts, and they have different types of coffee and tea. 
Um, uh, <clears throat> they also have uh, some uh, Swedish food as well. They have the ling ling is that, is that lingerie? Lingerie. 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 Yeah, we didn't know how to spell it, so we just kind of. L i g o n berry. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's a it's like a Swedish berry that they have to order from Sweden, and it, it is pretty expensive, but it's it's a part of uh, you know the Swedish heritage that Lindsberg has, and then they also have Swedish on cakes as well. Um, uh, unfortunately, they only have one printed version of their uh, their menu, and it's located up there by the cash register. So if you wanted to take a menu with you, you couldn't. So. Uh, that's what part of our plan is that they would be able to make more copies of their menu and maybe even revise their menu a little bit so that people can take it, as well as posting a menu up on the Facebook page. Um, demographic analysis, so, uh, we found out that audience uh, aged 15 to 44 is uh, really big, it's like more than 30% in both Lanesburg, McPherson and Salina. So our potential audience it's uh, 24,952 people, so it's 38.7% uh, of all, so it's quite a big uh, audience which we aimed at. So to do this, we are going to uh, make a better sign, I took a, a personal visit myself and when I was looking I would see how a potential customer would find the old grind um, and there was no visible way if you were just walking down the sidewalk to see the old grind or somehow it would stand out to you, it just didn't. Um, so of course if you're going to get potential customers, you have to have a sign that draws people. As um, far as cards and flyers, just like we do around here, when I went to the restroom, uh, like I noticed that flyer that our school had printed out uh, as their newspaper, you have to make flyers for people to see it and be in their face just like we do around here for <coughs> events. Um, also, um, make posters and place them in, uh, in the Beth at Bethany College. That's what we do around here. We post things. <laughs> we post things. And that's the way um, when we use the restroom, we see it while we're using the restroom. Uh, we use signs and pictures to gather our attention. And so we felt like for them, have a sign that with, with light or place Miss uh, their, their little mascot. What's her name? Um, uh, Grandma Wizzy. Grandma Wizzy. Wizzy. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow outside of the shop um, to where she could draw people, you know, they see a little old lady and like, oh, that's the old grind. So some way to make them stand out because if you walk through Lindsburg Main Street, everything blends in. Even the barber shop, even the, the jewelry shop, everything blends in. So uh, we wanted to find a better way for them to stand out um, to produce and gather an audience for them. Yeah, as you can see, we did pass around a few... Uh, um, uh, fly, a few examples, and each uh, one has the deal posted on it. Bring five friends to the old grind and get a free cup of coffee. That's a, uh, a I think, a really cool thing that we thought of to maybe just get some more people in there knowing about but it. But the free portion of energy, what do you mean? Just that coffee. Coffee. Energy. Just okay. So yep. it's the co it's not like you're offering them an energy drink. No, no, it's no, just no. coffee. No. Yep. Okay. Got it. And got do we decide to use like humor and no uh, flies just because we're yeah. Where'd you find this one? On internet. This is great. This is great. <laughs> stupid. You're stu I mean, this is, this is, this is, I love that. I love that. Yeah. I need to drink more coffee. <laughs> yeah. uh, so what else? Create a Twitter account just because a lot of people use uh, Twitter on yeah. their phones, so they will get updated news on their phones. Yeah. Social networking is a really big yeah. part of today's society, so using as much social networking sites for your business would, uh, really appeal not not only just to the college age kids but also to other businesses and other uh, people in other towns as well so yeah. like more about specials it's like bring five friends get a cup of coffee for free just to broaden their audience to show people that there is like the coffee shop like all grind so you bring five friends you will get to run coffee for free. The next one is cooperation with Bank of America. It's like uh, every new customer of Bank of America will get a cup of coffee for free. Just because, for example, it's my own experience. When I first came to Linsburg, my first place which I visited was Bank of America to open a new account. So, and then I went to coffee shop that placed next to it. So it will be better for people to know the first co coffee shop, not the sugar shop or other coffee shops. <laughs> And uh, the last one is Sunday night, students' night. Uh, get a 10% discount uh, 
from 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. Just it's like study hall for students. They should learn their hours because it's impossible for students to get like at 6 p.m. to coffee shop. It's not convenient for students. To yeah, we found that most of the time, these is not just with college students, but you know with everybody else. Mm -hmm. People are busy during the day, either with work or family stuff. They don't have time to go get coffee before the time of 6 p.m. So we thought that even extending their hours to just 8 p.m., an extra two hours or even an extra one hour would dramatically increase the, the, the amount of customers they would get because no other businesses in the area, are, or at least like very few of them, are open past 6 p.m. And also, like especially having to do with that, a Sunday night, the, they talk, you guys talked last week about the White Peacock having a, a study night. Like we figured since their competition is doing that, they should definitely consider doing something along those lines to being open at least at least until 10 p.m. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> arrange, we did talk about this, arrange special yeah. theme events. Um, <coughs> more uh, to gather a uh, younger group of people uh, since we're going to be here at college, but poetry night, music night, Mafia night, poker night, these are all things that we gather from students around campus um, that they're interested in. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing that I thought about was the space that they have inside uh, doesn't allow for that. But we came up with these because you could draw a different group of people and a consistent group of people, hey, they're having poetry night um, at the old grind and then everyone who does poetry can come. And of course you bring friends, you bring people that you want to come with you. Um, music night as well is just a trend uh, that follows right behind each other and so having theme nights gives people a reason oh to come out to old Ryan. it just gives you a reason to go out uh, the music night in particular we thought would appeal to the Bethany College music department you know like we know that they are probably some of the busiest students on campus and some of them probably don't have time to have maybe a job outside of uh, school so uh, we figured that maybe if the old grind uh, came into the Bethany College you know music department they could talk to them and maybe invite us uh, you know individual performers to go in and just receive tips off of their performances and uh, you know perhaps maybe just for an hour or two a night you know? Okay, uh, what appointments we are going to do is uh, to longer the working hours, we have already talked about it, uh, at least till 8 p.m. on Monday through Saturday, until 10 p.m. on Sunday. Um, then we'll have great menu, make it more visible and probably more interesting to uh, feel like, to name a coffee more interesting name that people will be interested. And improve space, I think, uh, Improved space. Um, when I went to the whole grind, um, they talked about how much they wanted to improve the customers. And then I went to walking around in the back. And there was very limited space, um, very crowded. They couldn't even stock their own coffee or their own products uh, to make the coffee there. Um, they try to deal with Scotts as much as they can, but it's just not enough space for them to even um, host all of it there. And so one thing that I thought about was I went out back and there was a great amount of space to where you can add on. And of course, it takes money. Um, if we added on, we could build first from the back. And then as we build, we build the menu, we build um, the bar and everything back there before we open it up. And then that would allow for the front to be torn down. And once that's torn down, we've already completely built the back to where when you tear it down, it's already ready. And then all it's doing is placing flooring, and you can come right in, and you can have a larger space for people. Because I, right now, they're only allowed to have 17 people at a time in their coffee shop. Um, and so that's not beneficial, as we can see at the time. So we thought to increase the space to where they can um, pour their coffee, sugar, uh, creams, and all that. So right now, they're not allowed to do that. They can't. They just don't have the space. I mean, there's maybe about uh, a four by four space where they're stocking the material to make coffee and that's just not going to uh, do well for good business. So to expand the space uh, and make a better space for the, for the potential customers to have more than just 17 at a time. Yeah, we de that is definitely uh, you know, a long-term goal. In order to make certain expansions to the store, it would take a serious amount of money. So we figured that they would like, you know, maybe start a fund wherever they uh, you know, do their uh, you know, their banking, and uh, maybe just set up, set aside a certain amount of money from their profits, 
for like maybe up to five years, maybe up to ten years. You know, just set aside a certain amount of money, and then after after the five years or ten years, they would they would have all this money dedicated to this this purpose that they would uh, you know, hopefully eventually try to improve on. Yeah, and about uh, money, we uh, thought that it would be okay to count their budget that to prove that it would be profitable. So expenses that they should do it like, for example, to buy poker set will cost seven dollars, print menu ten dollars, print posters twenty dollars. Uh, this too is optional. Free cup of coffee t two dollars each, and hire a bus uh, bartender. It's ten dollar per hour. And uh, seven, seven, uh, seven twenty five is the minimum wage, and that's yeah. what the they told us that their uh, their people are. Yeah. Doing. So one time expenses will be only sixty dollars. The profit will be huge. Each special night which we should arrange, it will be seventeen people will buy a cup of coffee two dollar each. So it's thirty-four dollar per night. Four nights in a month will cost one hundred thirty-six dollars per month. Uh, if um, uh, the average customers are forty-five people a day, it's average. Plus at least five people, if our commercial will do each day, they will buy a cup of coffee for two dollars, ten dollars per day, on thirty days a month will cost three hundred dollars per month. So permanent profit will be. Four hundred thirty-six dollars per month. And that's only if, that's only if they do four four nights a month. If they have more events yeah. and bring in more people, then that could dramatically increase. So, so uh, profit for the first month will be uh, four hundred thirty-six dollars minus sixty dollars. This one-time expenses will be three hundred seventy-six dollars. But profit for the rest of months it will be four hundred thirty-six dollars. So. This That's already is, a pretty big increase. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so it's profitable. Time wise. Okay, I'll go for it. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, just Im immediate improvements. The, these are just improvements that we believe that they can accomplish just within the first month if they if they want to. Uh, or just arranging the special nights, coming up with a you may maybe schedule our plan having to do with that. Uh, you know, consulting the music department and uh, possibly planning on hosting a poetry night. Um, uh, improving their advertising campaign, improving their you know their Facebook page and uh, their system that they have. With right now, it's being spread very well by word of mouth, and maybe improving upon that as well. Um, uh, especially upgrading the menu, getting all those uh, paper copies done so that people can take them, and also uh, putting their menu up on their Facebook page. Um, offering certain specials such as the the five you bring in five people, you get a free coffee, as well as uh, you know also handing out those punch cards as well. Or if you get 10 copies, you get maybe the 11 free or something. And uh, yeah, like we uh, talked about, the long term improvement with the, you know, the SPICs as well. Yeah. And um, what we will have as a result, it will be a good, comfortable coffee shop, which will aim at more broad audience. It will be the coffee shop which will go with the times, uh, the coffee shop which will suggest the best offerings in Williamsburg, the coffee shop which will be profitable. And the coffee shop, which will be known and loved. Thank you. And Skippy said that her favorite kind of coffee on the menu 